I don't like the looks of this. If you require a break, by all means, take your time. <laughs> this thing. I was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Go for the eyes, Prince. He cannot kill you if he cannot kill you. him of his sight. Now bring him to his knees. see you move in and attack him directly
continue my story from good. This is a fun place to start the tale next time. The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sand monster. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. That people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. His thoughts had been only of reaching the vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was simply too soon to tell.
look at that. Farrah! How do you know my name? Yes. I... I eagerly await your response. I have heard tales. Wondrous tales of a beautiful... And brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? I will continue my story from here next time. Called me strange. She remembers nothing of our past together. Because it never happened. You know, no sands of time, no Azad. You get the vizier, but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We must catch up with her. Fair enough. Though I suspect you and I want very different things from the girl. Ah! <laughs> 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 
continue my story from here if you're good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You still have feelings for her, admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Time. How did you come to possess? That's that. Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of, but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. Would you like to hear more? I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. I'm impressed. I suppose it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now let us find the Vizier. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. 
The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined by the hour. Should I continue for All right, then. What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something. Wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. This where I, I will continue my story from here next time. You know, I've been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. 
I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough. Careful, these creatures seem to feed off the sands. Kill them before they steal any more from you! Dispatch the guards. As long as they live, the beam will remain.
such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. Do you think you could move a little faster? You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. Blind luck.
See? You did it. We did it. Wait! There are people hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. And so the prince and Pharaoh separated. She sought to save lives, he to end them. For the prince intended to confront his enemy and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. His mind churned with thoughts of glorious vengeance. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Pharaoh. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? conquer a city is one thing, but to do so with such a violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer.
Babylon's last line of defense, fallen. These men served my family well. With their defeat, the city is fully in the hands of the vizier. like the light. Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! Every time I reach him, he slips away. 
Why will he not just stay and fight? It would make things so much simpler. It is not always about combat, Prince. Babylon had finally fallen, and none were left to come to the prince's aid. He was now the city's only hope. If he failed, his entire world could be lost. For the vizier was not content to simply be a king. No. He fancied himself a god. The question now was whether the prince realized the position he was in. And if he did, would he accept this responsibility? Would he become a hero? Should I continue from good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Are you alright? He has escaped. And you? What of the troops? Dead. All dead. But I saw the vizier, or whatever it is he's become. He flew towards the palace. Then we know where to go. Alright. But I seem to be... well... Stuck. Could you find a way to open this door? I understand the principles of courtesy, but I think you take things a bit too far.
seen cats with greater skill. Thank you, Prince. Of course! The pro problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to return the favor, then. You were saying... Go on, then. I hope Farah is all right. You are spending way too much time looking after the girl. Is this necessary? You sound upset. Are you jealous? Just focus on getting to the palace. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? I will continue my story from here next time.
There you are. Keep your voice down. There are enemies below. Okay. But see if you can do something about these crates. I cannot get past them. Do you understand now? This is the sort of thing that slows us down. I can see the palace from here. Here. Make your way to me.
We have returned. Did you hear that? If you know what is good for you, say no. Farah, we must press on. I am sure she will be all right. Are you mad? She was begging for her life. She said there were others. No, we can afford no more delays. Good. Put her in her place. These are your people. You are their prince. And yet you would leave them to suffer? That man has taken everything from me. And now that I have the opportunity to punish you, you want to delay... Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. Amy, have you forgotten what he did to you? But I... You are burdened by a guilty conscience, Farah. He made you watch as your people suffered, unable to aid them. You are not to blame. Do not let it cloud your judgment. It is not I who suffers from clouded judgment. You may choose not to help them, but you cannot stop me. But this tale is far from over. I go to kill the Vizier! To end this! While you run about applying bandages to axe wounds! Good riddance. She has been nothing but a distraction. Always getting into trouble and slowing us down. Finally, we can... What? Something could happen to her. I cannot lose her again. No, no, no! So close. Farah, where have you gone off to? Shall I continue my story from here, if you are called? Though she had reached the prince, he feared for her safety. Even if it was just one person, at least now he thought of someone other than himself.
don't let Farah see me like this. Worried she will prefer the new year? She won't skip glowing eyes, melted face. I'm sure it will be love at first sight. this time. Is this necessary? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Fine. Waste your valuable time rescuing the princess. I can only imagine what the vizier is doing right now. Probably expanding his army, torturing innocent citizens, deciding what kingdom to conquer next. What he should be doing is dying. I have not forgotten my mission. Could have fooled me. really expected quite a bit more from you. On the island of time, you were so focused, so dedicated. So selfish. Nonsense. You were simply trying to protect what was yours. Where's the harm in that? Look around. All of this destruction is my doing.
traipsing through a brothel while your city falls apart. That's not what I call heroic. I am here for Farah. You're not here for her. You're here for you. She made you feel guilty and you hope to prove her wrong. Your reasons for being here are hardly selfless. You do not know my motives. And you do not know me. I am you. And the sooner you realize it, the better. Traipsing through a brothel while your city falls apart. That's not what I call heroic. I am here for Farah. You're not here for her. You're here for you. She made you feel guilty and you hope to prove her wrong. Your reasons for being here are hardly selfless. You do not know my motives, and you do not know me. I am you. And the sooner you realize it, the better. Farah! What do you want? I have thought about what you said, and you are right. I... <laughs> Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? If you really do desire death, kindly wait your turn. I have killed most of the guards. It should be safe. Go and find the women. Free them. I will deal with her. Wonderful work. You return to save Farah and then send her back into the thick of it while you run after this one. My hero! You know as well as I do that the brothel is no longer dangerous. But if I do not kill that sand monster, she will pose a threat to Farah. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. When you have the time, I will continue. No. 
No, not now! Tell me when you have time to hear more. You can't catch me. You should consider I don't know, following her. Were you planning on giving chase, or do you want your enemy to escape? She mocks you, Prince. Go to her. Punish her! Try all you want. You should consider, I don't know, following her? <laughs> Are you planning on giving chase, or do you want your enemy to escape? <laughs> she mocks you, Prince. Go to her. Punish her! I'm 
admire you for trying. Concentrate. I'm sure there's a way for you to slow her. has already begun to transform the women I have imprisoned. You buy yourself hours at best. <laughs> if I had some sands for every time someone said that to me. Oh, I do. The women are free and headed to safety. It was right of you to return. Prince? You... You're one of them? No, Farah! This is not how it appears! You're a sand monster! You lied to me, all this time! No! I have been tainted by the sands, this is true! But my mind and my heart are my own! Please believe me! You stay away from me! Should I continue for I will continue my story from here next time. Well, you did lie to her. No, I simply... Yes. Yes. But she would not understand. What was I thinking? Tell me when you want to hear more. Poor Prince. His secret self had been revealed, and Farah quite disturbed by what she had seen. Perhaps he should have been honest from the beginning. Too late he realized his mistake in staying silent.
Wait! This is where I should reschool it. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. <laughs> 